All right, so this world has taught us not only that we are black people, we niggas and all of that, they taught us the wrong day to serve God. Yes, sir, let's get that. They, they, they gave us the wrong day. All right? God's, uh, his, his day of rest, right, that, that he uh, set up for us to congregate is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That is the Holy Sabbath according to God, right? We got to come back to that. When Christ come back, if you ain't doing that, guess what? You're going to be burnt just like the rest of the people. The majority of people today, they're going to be, they're going to be hot coals when Christ come back. They're going to be ashes, bro. You don't want to be that. Right. Come out of this place mentally, spiritually. Come out of this place. Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. Bring it out. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And that he, right, is these other nations, the so-called white man, shall speak great words against the, uh, against the Most High. Right? What is the great words talking about? Right? That's talking about their doctrine. That's talking about they are Christians. They are followers of Christ. Christ ain't got nothing to do with them as a people, right? He's not dealing with them as a people. He's dealing with us. We are God's chosen people. We're supposed to be ruling this earth, right? He's speaking great words saying, uh, Sunday is the Sabbath day, when Saturday is the Sabbath day. You understand? Read on. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And shall wear out the saints. Who are the saints according to God? Who are the saints? Give me that, saints. Psalms uh, 148. Who are the saints according to God? Right, y'all heard that song, right? Oh, when the saints go marching in. Who are the saints? Because all type of nations sing that song. I've heard that song sing, uh, sang by the, the Chinese man, the so-called white man. Oh, when the saints go marching in. But who is that really talking about? That's talking about only our people. We gonna prove it, read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 14. Uh -huh. He also exalted the horn of his people. Uh huh. The praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Read on. Even of the children of Israel. Of who? The children of Israel. Even, even evermore of the children of Israel. Right? That's you. You are the son of Israel. Right. You're not the son of black. You're not the son of African American. You are the son of Israel. That's right. So this is talking about you. Start keeping God's commandments. Guess what? You're the saint that 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 other verse was talking about. Now go back to that. Uh, speaking great words against the Most High, right? Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Uh huh. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Uh huh. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Our people are wearing out, bro. We worn out out here, right? The fact that we selling a, 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 a celebrating another nation's uh, independence, right, from, from Great Britain shows you that we are destroyed as a people. Right. We are worn out. We got to come out of that. Read on. And think to change times and laws. And get and think to change times and laws. All right? So one of those times that they changed was God's Sabbath day. They said that it's on, it's on Sunday. And God says it's on uh, the seventh day of the week, the last day. So what's the first day of the week, Brother Marcel? Huh? Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week, which makes Saturday what? The last. Saturday is the last day. So if Saturday is the last day of the week, guess what? The Sabbath day is on Saturday. You understand? So you have to congregate on that day. The rest of you have to congregate on that day. That's a commandment of God. Give me that. Leviticus chapter 23. That's a commandment from God to the Israelites, from God to God's chosen people, right? Because he didn't choose everybody. He don't care about everybody. He's not worried about everybody. But guess what? He worried about you and your people. So you, you should take advantage of that. We can't force nobody out here to do nothing, but the, the wise decision, according to God, is to keep the commandments. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 1. Uh-huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. A what? Holy convocation. A holy convocation, a holy gathering. All right? That's what it's supposed to be for us. Read on. Even these are my feasts, uh -huh. 
Six days shall work be done. So, so this is going into God's holy Sabbath. God is saying six days shall the work be done. Read off. But this seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. But the seventh day of the week, the last day, is God's holy Sabbath of rest. Read. And holy convocation, a holy gathering. Read. Ye shall do no work therein. You're, we're not supposed to be working on, on the Sabbath day. We are not supposed to be working. So that's why God gave us uh, six days out of the week to, to do our work, right? To, to go get the bag. Read on. It is the Sabbath of the Lord. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwelling. Uh huh. These are the feasts of the Lord. So you understand that. So from now on, y'all are Israelites because you're not black. Black is the color. Right. You are God's chosen people, and therefore, you got to hold yourself to that. Right. God gave you and your people, your nation, the Sabbath day to keep. That is something holy. That's special. That's separate from the other nations. Let the other nations celebrate uh, uh, congregating on Sunday. Right. Let them do that trash. That's garbage. That's going to get them killed. Right. But eternal life, right, comes to them that keep God's Sabbath day. You understand? Now go back to uh, Revelation chapter 18. All right, so today is what? The 4th of July. What are we out here for? To celebrate that, right? Is that good according to God? Does God want us to celebrate the 4th of July? No, he don't, right? Right, so let's read it out the Bible, read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse four. Uh-huh. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. God says what? Come out of her, my people. So what's that talking about, my brother? Come out of her. What's that her going into? It says, come out of her, my people. Whatever her is, is giving birth to something, right? Yeah, in a sense. This is talking about more spiritual. More mental, come out of her. It's talking about Babylon the Great. It's talking about America. Come out of her, right? Stop stop doing the things that America promotes as good because it's not good according to God. Right, right. right. It's evil. It's wicked according to God. The right. 4th of July is evil according to God because he didn't give you that to celebrate. The nations, they broke us as a people and then they gave us 4th of July to celebrate. And then they gave us Thanksgiving, Christmas, Mother's Day. All of these things, or none of those things are what God gave us. So should we be dealing with them? As his children? Heck no, we don't want nothing to do with that. Those are not our ways, those are not our traditions. God says, come out of her, read on. Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins. That ye, you not partakers in her uh, in her sins, and her evil ways. Read on. And that ye not receive of her plagues. And that ye not receive of her what? Of her plagues. There are plagues that are coming to America. There are plagues that are coming. COVID-19 was a plague. God says, come out of her, so I won't, I won't allow you to be caught up in these in these plagues, right? God says, come out of her, read on. For her sins have reached unto heaven. So America's sins has reached unto the heavens. They've sinned so much that it's reached all the way up to God, read on. And God have remembered her iniquities. God remember her iniquities. God has remembered her sins. He's not gonna forget them. Right, that's why we have to repent. That's why we gotta change. God is not going to forget. Y'all brothers understand? Read on. Reward her, even as she rewarded you. God says reward her, even as she rewarded us. How did, the, how did America reward us? My brother on the bench right here. How did, how did America reward us? What did they do to us? Exactly. But God, God is saying, Pay back to America everything that they did to you. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is 
FM. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word. His word.